you're a new skydiver, I want you to imagine that you've just made the perfect solo skydive. You nailed the exit, you flew like a champion, you pulled on time, you flew a great pattern, and you even set up the landing. Well, guess what? It's not over. You've got a great big parachute to collect, and you need to safely make your way out of the landing area. Let's start from the beginning. If there's much wind outside, the parachute that you just landed might be continuing to fly. Remember those yellow toggles you were just using to steer the parachute? Let go of one of them and aggressively reel in the other while keeping some tension on the lines. This brings the parachute out of the air and onto the ground. Now walk around behind the canopy, staying close to avoid putting tension back on the lines. Now that you're here, you can pull the steering line back through the guide ring and insert the top of the toggle back into the keeper. Find the other toggle that you let go of and follow the same steps on the other side. Next, let's make that harness a little more comfortable. Pull up on the buckles of your leg straps as you pull the webbing in the opposite direction. You can make the same adjustment to your chest strap and take out all of the slack. This is a great time to pull off your helmet and your goggles. Put the strap from the helmet through the bungee on your goggles and clip the whole thing to your chest strap. With the toggles already in the keepers, you can bring all four line groups together at the top of the risers and you can now begin coiling up the lines. As we do this, we want to make an effort to move towards the parachute instead of dragging the parachute across the ground. The further you reach for each coil, the less bulky the lines become in your hand. As we collect the lines, we'll also be moving the slider back up towards the canopy. We want to push the slider all the way up and then take our last grip on the lines right beneath the slider. With a firm grip on the lines, you can now look for the deployment bag. The deployment bag and the pilot chute are attached to one another by the bridle, so you can really grab any of those pieces to make your way to the next step. Add the deployment bag to the growing pile in your hand, and we can now coil up the bridle and the pilot chute in the same way that we did with the lines. The last piece of the puzzle is finding the warning label on the tail of the canopy. The warning label is sewn into the center of the tail on the top side of the parachute. This is the lowest hanging portion of the canopy, and by adding the warning label to the top of your pile, you're much less likely to drag any part of your gear along the ground, and you might even earn a high five on your way in. Speaking of your walk-in, watch out! You're still in an active parachute landing area. Keep your eyes to the sky and watch out for other canopies. If your walk back into the hangar requires you to cross a runway, pay extra special attention not just to the ends of the runway, but up into the sky where an airplane will be approaching from. If there's an airplane pointed at you, on the ground or still in the sky, that's the sign that you need to stay clear of the runway and wait for the airplane to pass. The airplane always has the right of way on the runway, and a responsible skydiver will stay back and take a knee to visibly yield to the pilot. We'll cross on the runway, move fast, and clear the area as quickly as possible. Once you're back inside, bring your smile and your unpacked parachute to one of the packers and they'll show you where to lay it down. Neatly set the canopy on the floor, making an effort to keep the lines on top. And carefully step back and away as you stretch out the lines. If you're jumping with a radio, take it out of the pouch on your chest strap and set it inside your helmet. You can now remove the helmet and carefully set it down on the floor. Finish removing the chest strap, peel the rig off your shoulders, and let the shoulder straps fall into your hands. As you step out of the leg straps and prepare to set down the rig, gently nudge the bottom of the container away from the lines. You now pick up your helmet, goggles, and radio and return them along with any other borrowed gear to the instructor. On your way through the packing room, be sure to walk around the gear whenever possible and never step over the lines of a parachute that's being packed. Now grab your logbook and get ready to debrief. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy that next jump. Oh. <laughs>